Nights. My name is Peter Sidwell and I am here in my kitchen to show you all about British charcuterie. I've been asked by the Guild of Fine Foods to create some recipes that really kind of show off British charcuterie. It's an amazing part of the industry, amazing growth. You know, we, we have over 100 different producers scattered around the country. Um, that's twice as many as 10 years ago. So clearly, you know, we're getting these butchers and we're getting farmers who've got this amazing product and they're then turning into another amazing product. So I'm going to show you one of my personal favourites, which is an amazing little rare bit on English oven bottom muffins. Uh, and we're going to top it with a cured ham. And as it all cooks, the ham will crisp up uh, and it will just be amazing. So let's just cut these muffins and we'll give them a little light toast while we're making the rare bit. And it's not a true rare bit as such where it's cooked out. Um, it's kind of a little cheats version, but I think it's delicious. Okay, so. Muffins straight into the oven while we get on with the mix. Okay, so first things first is I have got a little bit of sort of Dijon style mustard. It's actually an English mustard, uh, but it has been made in the Dijon style. I prefer it. It's a little smoother, a little rounder, but if you prefer English mustard, that's okay. Just be careful. It's pretty hot. And then sour cream. Now this kind of works really well. It makes it all beautiful and creamy and it takes it from cheese on toast to a kind of rare bit style. So I've got a couple of tablespoons. There we go. And just mix those two together so that then when all the cheese and the other ingredients go in, you get a really nice, smooth, rounded flavor all the way through. Okay. So, to help kind of set this, we're going to add an egg yolk. And this gives, it does two things really. It helps set the cheese, but it also, it gives it a beautiful richness, okay? Um, and, and if you don't put the egg yolk in, you tend to end up with kind of a cheese sauce on, on your toasted muffin rather than a lovely, rich, cheesy mixture. Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about this. So, mix the egg yolk in. So now we've got this kind of setting liquid that'll help. Okay. Right, I have got some English vintage cheddar. Okay, I like to use a really strong, robust cheddar in this, but it's up to you. You know, if you're from the Northwest, you might be thinking Lancashire cheese. You know, if you're in Yorkshire, you might be thinking Wensleydale. You fill your boots. Go for the cheese that you love. That's what's important. Okay, so we now mix that creamy mixture and the cheese together. Okay, pop that to one side. Spring onions. Now these are going to work beautifully in this and just, just add that savoury note. So I'm going to chop the white really, really thin. And then as I get towards the green, we're going to open the knife out a little bit and chop it a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's get these onions in. Oh, love spring onions. So we'll give that a quick mix and we are nearly done. A little bit of pepper. I'm not going to put any salt in because the cheese has got salt in it anyway and it's kind of, you know, we're putting the ham on there so I don't think we really need it. Muffins have just had, what, two, three minutes under the grill. I'm not toasting them heavily at all, okay? Muffins have just been in the, under the grill for two or three minutes while we've been making the cheese mixture. And you can kind of hear, they've just got that nice light toasting, a little bit of crispness. Take a spoonful of our cheese mixture and just spread it with the back of the spoon. Don't worry about getting it all to the edges, okay? Because as it melts, it'll fill. So just, it's more important to get a good spoonful in the center of each one. Get those last few little bits. There we go. So that's covered eight muffins, eight halves. So four muffins cut up. And then I've just got this beautiful British cured ham. And all we're gonna do is just lay it on top like that. 
And it's really important not to do anything more than that. Don't press it down, don't do anything. Because what, as it crisps up and grills, we want that beautiful charcuterie to crisp up and go really delicious and have an amazing contrast to the soft cheese, okay? That's it, okay? And then I am just gonna add a tiny little drip, okay, of oil onto each one. Like the literally the tiniest little bit you can imagine. And then just with your finger, just kind of brush that oil so that the ham is all glistening. That's gonna help it crisp up. It needs the tiniest amount. Because you don't want it to be oily, you just want it to be lovely and crisp. Straight in the oven. It might take five minutes, might take four minutes. It depends how hot your grill is um, or your oven at high heat, but when it's all bubbly and crisp, you'll know it's ready. Toasties have been in the grill for five minutes, and as you can see, look, lovely and crisp and delicious, which is exactly what we want. Okay, and let's just carefully pop them onto there. Look, I'll move that so that we can see the star of the show. There we go. So as you can see, the ham has just crisped up beautifully because the water content through the curing process has, has allowed it to become quite dry, as we know. And then when it crisps up, ugh, just looks and tastes amazing. Now, I've got a final little touch, which is a personal choice, and, and you can do this. They are served beautifully as is. But I've made some pickled red onions, and all I've done is take some cider vinegar, a teaspoon of honey, and then brought it up to the boil, shredded some onions, re red onion really fine, popped them in the boiling vinegar, switched the heat off, and left them for a week in the fridge. And now you have these beautiful, delicious, tangy pickled onions. Uh, and they are nothing like the pickled onions that you get at the fish and chip shop or behind the bar, believe you me. They're really delicious and they work so well with things like charcuterie and cheese and they're just a great addition to have in the fridge. But there you go, that is how to make a wonderful rare bit cheese toasty topped with cured British ham.